Are we on? Okay. Welcome to the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting of August 15, 2018. On the agenda tonight at 6.30 p.m., um, we have a review and approval of the minutes of March 26, 2018. 635, we have a determination for 21 Long Avenue. Stanley and Catherine Iwaniki, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And an applicant is requesting to install an eight foot by eight foot deck onto a single family home. At 6.50 p.m., we have a determination, 6 Cormac Road, Betty Ray Popo, uh, applicant is requesting a determination after the fact in regard to a change in a roof line from f a flat to a pitched roof during a recent an renovation. <coughs> 7 p.m., a determination for 128 Lane 10, Daniel Z. Pelizier. Applicant has submitted a request for determination for new construction of a 30 foot by 35 foot detached garage abutting an existing driveway. And the 715 item, the endorsement of five leaves project agreement, we haven't got that material back. Old business, new business, and adjournment. Uh, as far as the meeting minutes, of the 26th of March, 2018. There again, since we don't have a quorum of the people that were present at that meeting, we will have to defer approval of the draft minutes until the next meeting. And then we will also do the minutes of the July 18th meeting. All right. Now, would the board please introduce themselves? Tom Earls. Bill Zelenak. Marge Cooney. Mike Young. Fidelis Omobweke. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Uh, since this is, uh, there's nothing else that we have to do and there's no approval of minutes, and since we have a determination, we can go ahead with the determination. So uh, whoever is presenting for uh, the Iwanikis, please sit there and use the mic and introduce yourself. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Stanley Iwanicki. Oh, I wasn't too far off. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to uh, discuss what you proposed to Well, do? what I'd like to do is I'd like to build an eight by eight deck on the back of a single family home at uh, 21 Long Avenue. Um, basically what it's gonna do is just square off the back of the building. Um, there is right there, there is now um, platforms, I guess you would say, that there was an existing deck there at, a, at, at one time. Um, so I just wanna basically just put back um, what was there, not, not extending it or, or anything else, just squaring off the back of the house. As you can see, there's a, um, on the back, that portion, that L, I guess, portion is where the deck is going to be. And so the total deck is just going to be eight the eight by foot eight. by it's eight just, foot. It's going to square off the back, yep. Okay. Um, anything else uh, that we can. Anything else you'd uh, like well, to the, I, on it? Well, I had approval from the, uh, I went to the Conservation Commission and they. You did get they, approval. Yes, I did get approval. I have to put out the DEP number in front before I start the project. Okay, because yep. I was just going to yep. suggest that. <laughs> I don't know if you have received all of the other memos that we have. From the fire department. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, we mm -hmm. have one from our town planner. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and. That one basically, she doesn't seem to have any problem with it. Uh, the proposal by the applicant will modify the footprint of the structure by adding the deck. However, there was a deck in the location previously. Mm -hmm. And since it's in line with the existing structure, uh, no additional nonconformities with regard to setback or lot coverage. So we you have that. And see what else we have 
just want to verify you have everything. Uh, from our building commissioner, a memo dated the 29th of July. <coughs> he basically has no objections to the project. The Sturbridge Fire Department has no major concerns. However, they mention general bylaw section 7.70 the building numbering mm -hmm. so what they want you to do is on the street side the address side of the street okay. to put a number that's visible yeah I will, I will ask them where because there is one on the building itself okay. on the home itself 21 long avenue is right on the building and it's about six inches the lettering yeah, oh that, that I don't that's know exactly yeah what, no that's yeah. fine all okay. they require is about two and a half by three okay, inches something approximately like okay. that yeah but they want it to be Usually they prefer if it's contrasting in color so that you can see it visibly. Okay, in case sure. Of any accident mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. Then we also have a memo from Brianna Eichstadt, who was our, who is presently our health agent, and she has no issues because it's both on town sewer mm -hmm. and you have a well on the opposite side of the home. So everything else is there. Now, we'll open it up for questions. Anybody on the board have questions? We'll look it over. Uh, yeah, just a comment that um, I appreciate that we have this type of neighborhood in Sturbridge mm -hmm. because they're hard to find now because everyone needs a, uh, a one acre lot and so forth. Right, right. This is a nice place to live. We've been down there three or four or five times in the past six months to look at different projects back then. Right, right. And it continues to be nice. Your neighbors are right there. It's, yeah, I mean, the two neighbors I need to say. Matter of fact, when we moved in, um, the neighbor to the right of us sold, and the neighbor out front, because we lived in a cove sold, I thought maybe we just, you know, there goes the neighborhood when we moved in, everybody was selling, but <laughs> I guess it was time for them because, you know, everybody, the family moved on, nobody wanted it, so. But yeah, it is, it is quiet, it's beautiful. Very I mean, quiet, yeah. everybody gets along pretty well in there, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Very I have no problems with that project. Okay. Uh, would anybody else uh, like to discuss anything? I have no questions, Marge. No questions. No questions. No questions. Well, this seems to be a pretty easy one, huh? And uh, you're going to put it on the pier with and a pad. I'm sorry? You're putting it on a pier. Yes, yeah. And a yeah. pad. Okay. And uh, let's see what else. We got all the documentation. Quick claim deed. But you really provided us with a lot. Thank yeah. you. Wanted to do it right. <laughs> Very good. All right. Uh, since this is not a public hearing and we have anything else, would anybody like to make a motion? I'll make a motion, March. <laughs> All right. You're going to cite the motion? Uh, regarding the addition of a deck, at the address of 21 Long Avenue, owned by Stanley and Catherine Iwanicki. Uh, the application is requesting to install an eight by eight deck onto a single family home. Uh, there appears to be no increase in nonconformities uh, to the building or in the neighborhood that would detract from the neighborhood in any way, shape, or form. It is an ordinary, uh, project with uh, nothing of concern that I can see. So I would make a motion that we grant uh, the determination to Stanley and Catherine, Catherine Iwanicki. I you want to refer to. Oh, okay. Um, I will just add the, uh, the plan notes. Um, uh, based on a plan, uh, let me see, uh, an inspection plot plan job number 16243 by Jalbert Engineering, uh, and it's dated, uh, well, the original plot plan is dated 2011, but, uh, yeah. and then we have an inspection date of 11-15-16. Right. Okay, so uh, those are the, uh, the numbers on the project. Right. 
All right. May I have a second? A second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, may I have a vote? All in favor? Three, four, five, zero. Lots Thank of you luck. Very that much went through help. fast. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. March, do you want to sign this now? Sure. We have time, so I might as well. Yeah, if you wait a second, I can sure. do this, and then you'll be all set. Okay. You want me to put acting chairman? Yeah. We, we try. I, I think we do. I, I, I'm very happy that to hear that, you know. We get the bricks a lot of times, but we need the bows, too. Thank you. Enjoy your place. Thank you. We will. We are. <laughs> Very good. Are you here for the next one? Yeah, just wait until we announce it. No, you're, you're okay. I'm talking about them. Good evening. Thank you. All right, the next one we have is all right. We have uh, Miss Betty Ray Popo from Six Cormac Road. The applicant is requesting to change in roof line from a flat to a pitch <coughs> roof, and this is after the fact, as we said. Would you please identify yourself for that? Oh, yeah, and uh, speak hi. into the uh, mic. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Betty Ray Popo. Um, I've been on Lead Mine Lake since 1968. Uh -huh. it, uh, I, it basically is our family home. And we rented there first, and then we bought. And um, I was reading all of this. I swim all the time. I think I spend more time in the water than anyone else. And it's important to me that it be kept clean and wonderful and lovely. Okay, it's a very special place. Yes. Uh, my neighbor across the lake that I used to swim over every morning, we sort of feel it's our little bit of heaven on earth. It is that, I should probably, we don't want people around there, okay? So I shouldn't be telling you this, but it's clean, it's spring fed, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, we uh, had, I'm as old as the cottage, which was built in 1935, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of leaking. So we had a new roof put on it, and when they did, they changed the pitch so that we wouldn't have the leaking coming in. And we also did some other repairs, because when something is as old as a cottage and I am, it's not a simple thing to repair. You run into one thing and another thing, but we did nothing uh, to change the footprint. And I was not aware uh, that it's called an envelope. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I knew we weren't changing anything on as the far footprint. as the footprint went. And I didn't realize that when we raised the roof, we were changing the envelope. And I apologize for that. I had no idea. Well, I'm just while you mention the envelope, I'm just for any members of the board, new members that we have, what we talk about when in an envelope, and I think the easiest way to describe it is think of a box, okay? Mm -hmm. Think of it as the way, whatever the shape is that it originally was. And then if you would open the sides and change, that, that, that would be the envelope. If you change the exterior walls and that. That would be changing the envelope. All right? Yeah. I think that's an easiest yeah. way to that's, describe it. Yeah. And we did because okay. of the leaking. Right. All right. Um, I will just. Make 
often that we have the different memos and there is a memo I see before I forget that you have to go and consult with Conservation Commission yes and there's a memo from the <coughs> conservation agent dated August 8th we have so hopefully you received it no I didn't all right we'll see that you get a copy. okay uh, it's I on a double email. sheet yeah it's on a double sheet all right let me yeah. get that out That's no, why. I, yeah I did give her a copy of that um, I believe it was wasn't that con that you need to go before a conservation uh, yes for this it, it project, says here uh, the site is within a jurisdictional buffer zone to a resource area protected pursuant to the Wetland Protection Act WPA and the Sturbridge Wetland Bylaw the site is also within a mapped priority habitat by the Mass Department of Fish and Wildlife Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. It's unclear to the extent the project completed, which may require review. If only a small portion of the roof line was modified, it does not appear that a uh, Sturbridge Conservation Commission review may have been required nor a review with the um, uh, Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. Uh, the Commission recommends the downspouts are directed to either infiltration pits or areas of crushed stone to allow for infiltration so it doesn't run off into it. Drip steps should be added under the roof line without gutters for capturing and infiltration runoff. Prior to the initiation of work, the property owner should consult with the Conservation Department on any future projects for filing requirements as the site is within the jurisdictional buffer zone of the WPA and the SWB, which is acronyms for what we read. I think, was that sent to Long Meadow, my home? Uh, no, it's uh, did this you want the, a copy? <coughs> that was the co it was in the uh, paperwork that I printed off for you. Okay, that yeah. Okay. Did you and uh, after speaking with the conservation agent, um, she what she's not concerned about needing the project to go before the conservation commission. Do we have a memo from her? I'd like. We have the email. I'd like a copy of that for the file, please, for us. In addition to this one? Yeah. Okay. A copy of the email. I right. know the fire department we have to, we, which we are doing, is put in a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide. Yeah, we'll go through to make sure that you got everything. And uh, we did you get a copy of our letter from our town, uh, from our uh, planning director? Oh. Yeah, yes, I did. Okay. And let's see what else we have. I think that was about it. Oh, fire department, no problem with it. And our police department have no concerns about it. And that's about all that we received. All right, any questions from the board? Mr. 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 Becky? No. Uh, I have no questions. I tried to stop by today um, and I got to visit uh, Christine next door. Yes. She brought me a soda while I was standing in the next to my truck, which wouldn't go back up the hill <laughs> because the transmission had failed because I had just come out of his road yeah. with my old truck. Yeah, <laughs> no one else here. <laughs> yeah, Cormac Road is um, actually. If I go down there in the winter time, I park it on lead mine and walk in. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a nice location. It's it's lovely. it's it's wonderful. <clears throat> I don't understand that swimming business, but oh yeah, well <laughs> some people fish, but I swim. Uh, any questions? Uh, just uh, the previous applicant said that 
he was informed of everything when he applied for this. How come she wasn't informed? They didn't. Um, they didn't realize that this project changed the envelope. They knew that they weren't changing the footprint, and under our bylaws, if it changes any of the envelope at all, they're supposed to go through the um, permit. the the permitting review process. Um, and honestly, typically the contractor knows this and will go forward with it, but there's just seems to be a miscommunication. Um, and it sounds like the house is tucked away, so it wasn't something that was glaringly obvious to the building inspector as it was moving forward. So that's why we're here today. So there was never any additional surveys done or anything ever since the one in 1972? There was never any other survey done on this? From what Probably I can not. see? Probably not. Um, when I was done. Uh, I don't see anything here. Mr. Young, do you have any questions? No, no questions, Marge. All right. Um, All right. All right, would anybody like to make a motion? I'll do it. Sure. Mm -hmm. right, so, um, it's a motion to find that the proposal by Betty Ray Popo for property located at 6 Comic Road to allow a change in roof line on the, exist on the existing home will not be substantially more detrimental to the um, existing in accordance with section 24.09A through E and section 20.05 of the Starbridge Zoning Bylaws. Uh, so this is a motion. Very good. Um, to grant the special permit requested as outlined no, in. No, it's a request for determination. Request, okay. We have to refer to the uh, plan. Um, so the plan prepared, I don't see any plan, just the registry, what's this? Yeah, this is for just, just these two things here. Yeah. yeah, the plan of land and Sturbridge Mass right, Survey so for Stanley J. Right. Jasulski. So plan of land in Sturbridge Mass surveyed by Stanley Four. Four surveyed for Stanley J. Jesuski. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the plan number is um I don't believe there is one. There's a, a date. Yeah, there's a date, April 18th, 1972. And the land surveyor, Robert F. Power. Okay. Okay, um, so dated April 18th, 1972. But no revisions. All right. May I have a second? I'll second that. All right. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor for granting the termination? All right. Okay. And uh, just an, uh, as an addition, all. Uh, 
necess all concerns or of any department or agencies or anything must be addressed and all permits must be pulled prior to construction. But this is after the fact, so thank you. Side that my daughter came up with someone, looked at it, decided to make the changes, and I didn't find out about it until I started getting the bills. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. Okay. But you had a good discussion about that. Well, her <laughs> point was that while I was alive, I would pay for it. If I died, she'd have to. Have, uh, there are three girls that will inherit it, and she'd have to battle it out with them. So that was her strategy. <laughs> Oh, well. I should have had her here with me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, yeah, these children will get you in trouble all the time. Mm. Is this yours or mine? Okay, thank you. Oh, that's my yeah. stuff. Okay. So you're all here, yeah. all right. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. Lots of luck. And we will work very hard at keeping that late. Good. Oh, Good. 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 It really is a special place. Have you ever been out to swimming in there? Right? Yeah, but there's not I'm much public access. I've been familiar with it, though, quite a while. Yeah, public access is through the woods. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You make it hard. <laughs> I had a pocketbook somewhere. Oh, there oh. it is. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right. Gosh, moving along. Yeah. 6.55. Are you Mr. Pelissier? Mm -hmm. We can take you ahead of time since it's not a public hearing. You know, home for supper a little earlier. Nice. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, please identify yourself and speak into the mic and tell us what you're going to do. Daniel Pelissier, 128 Lane 10, I'm looking to build a detached garage. Uh, it's a steel garage from what I see with two that bays. That is so far the preference based on cost and uh, ruggedness because it is tucked into the woods and yeah. the branches okay. can fall. Yeah, so. I saw the purchase order in that, tented purchase order and everything. I mean, you haven't filled it yet, but I saw it the tented. Well, that was information that actually yeah. got from two different sources just right. so there would be something to look at that would be representative. Yes, I see that. Thank you for that. Uh, now, just uh, on the side setback, uh, there was something on it. On one of them, on the plan, it showed nine feet on one side. Correct. It had eight feet, and then the other part was going to be nine feet. It was no, the proposed. The, the other side is on uh, the other uh, side. Feet. Yeah. Uh, no, it's 28 feet to the well. And then from the well to the garage is like another eight or nine. That's what I said. It said nine on the plan or something. Okay, but. Yeah, you have 13 on one side. Then uh, the existing was eight feet. And then you have oh, 13 for the feet. House. And that, uh, th these are the setbacks. For the house. Yeah, for the whole yes. application. And then you have now it that it's going to nine or something. Well, the nine is for the garage. That's the eight what I'm feet, saying. four inches or so is the house. All right, right. So what I'm so trying to represent there is that the garage is a little bit further off the border than the house presently That's what we're saying. So is. we have to get this because it's increasing, which is a positive thing because you're going a nine-foot setback, bringing it more into conformity. So maybe we want to get that initial, all right? Mm -hmm. I'll let you initial the because we have to get this all correct. It's a legal document. Okay. Which, um, sorry, you're looking at the chart, Marge? Yes, I am, where it says minim uh, minimum side setbacks, where the proposed is the plan shows nine feet that's coming in. Okay. Gentlemen agrees. Yes. Yeah. See, 13 and 8, and then it's going to 13 and 9. All right. Well, it actually it still it would remain 13 and 8. 
because yes. the, ho the house is right. already in no, place. No, we're not just talking the house. We're talking about the whole project, what we talk about. So this is what I don't understand. Where does the nine foot come from? That's the garage to the border. The eight feet is the house to the border. Same border. All right. I, I guess you can press it. Point you? All right. It's okay. It's only a foot, so I won't uh, go into it. Also, uh, the minimum hey, front um, setback. If I mean, written, yeah. The full okay. Condition, uh, um, so just to make sure we're clear, you the, the existing home yeah, is eight feet setback from setback. the side property line. Correct. Okay. And the proposed garage will be nine feet. Correct. Okay. So that's so it in a nutshell. Correct. Correct. Okay, That's thank you. Close up. Oh, yeah, 13A for existing. Yeah. But then the proposal would be his garage. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, proposal would be the building, right? Uh, excuse me. That's a good question. Yeah, there was something else on it. This took me off. <coughs> Any questions, comments? So, yeah, just a question. So the this garage is going to have a foundation, right? Yes. Okay, it's not something that can be moved. It's no. it's it's fixed. Right. Okay. Is it a foundation or a slab? It has to be a foundation. For a steel garage, you need to have piers that go all the way below frost line. Yep. to take the load of the building, which is actually limited to six legs. There's three I-beam arches in the construction of the building. The feet of each one of those arches has to be on something okay. solid enough to take the weight without any motion or stress. Otherwise, it'll crack the floor. So the, it'd have like a, a footer, frost wall foundation, six piers, which are built into mm -hmm. the walls of the foundation to give them more mass, then the slab is on top and it's filled inside the aggregate or whatever. And the inside will have a finished floor or it'll be a gravel floor? Concrete. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Any more questions from any members of the board? Comments, questions? No, I went up there and I'm pretty much got a pretty good explanation of what's going where. And um, it looks doable. Right. Uh, make sure that you got the memos that uh, we got. There's a, uh, a memo here dated. August 8, 2018, from our conservation agent. And she says, the garage appears to be well outside of the 200-foot Sturbridge Wetlands Bylaw jurisdictional buffer zone and not on an 80% slope, which is positive. Therefore, it does not appear that a review is required. If work is required within the 200-foot buffer zone, then a filing with the conservation may be required. And you're encouraged to contact the conservation department to discuss filing requirements for any proposed work within the 200-foot buffer zone uh, or up to the jurisdictional resource area. Um, and the 200 feet would be measured from the shore of the lake. <coughs> It is over 200 feet to the face of the house. All right. So then you have they, the, they'll be out there looking. <laughs> you have the, then the thickness of the house, then you have the yard. Oh, yeah, so it's right. that additional distance away from the Right. Lake. As long as you're not in there is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have a memo from our town planner dated August 8th. Have you received that? Basically, I've reviewed the application and plan. Uh, to allow the construction of a freestanding garage <coughs> on the existing non-conforming structure. You had it, so it's, it's just going into the place where you had it before, is that it? No, there was never a structure there before. Hmm. 
You see that? That's correct. System garage. Yeah, on the existing non conforming. Okay. <coughs> Uh, the proposal by the applicant is to construct a 35-foot by 30-foot garage on the property as shown on the plan submitted. Uh, the existing home is eight feet from the side property line at, at its closest point, and the proposed garage will be nine feet from the side property line at its closest point. All right. Uh, the location of the garage was chosen based on the proximity to the existing garage. That's what, I, you see what I'm getting? I think she meant, I think she meant to say existing house or driveway. Probably well, the driveway. that's why yep. I think we need some correction there. I know that Ms. Bubon doesn't have any problems with this. No, I, yeah, I'm looking at it, but I mean, this is the memo that's in the file. That's why I I'll question her, whether you had another garage, because I picked up on that. Mm -hmm. I'll have her correct it and, um, and, put, it, and yeah, put it in the file. I'd like and a, send copy a copy too for my Mr. records. Parker. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, the project has been submitted by staff for review. No reports, note any concerns. So that's a good thing, okay? And now let's go with that. And I just uh, had one or two questions. According to the plan, um, it said that it was a ground field survey, sur survey uh, on April 21st, 2018. Do you know if that was a tape or instrument survey? That was instrument. It was instrument. I worked, Thank you. I worked, in fact, with them. Okay. It, it uh, ties into GPS satellites. Uh, I think it ties into seven at a time as opposed to three. For You're a surveyor? GPS. Pardon? You're a surveyor? I went through a portion of the training. Okay. No, I mean, because the way you said it. 45 that's years <laughs> ago. So oh, all right. I'm not unfamiliar with surveying, but when I was going through it, it was the old manual transit. It was not the new see, electronic I'm, stuff. My husband was a surveyor, and I did. <clears throat> <laughs> that's mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so it was an instrument survey. So, because, as you know, there are differences. All right. Um, you're on septic. Everything else seems fine. Okay, would anyone like to make, uh, oh, uh, police chief has no problem. Nobody seems to have any problems. We've got a memo from him. Fire department has no problems. There again, make sure that you have a very visible address on the street address side of the house. The house is about so you're 500 gonna have, feet uh, off the street. I, I, no, that's what I'm laughing at, because <laughs> you're going to have to have it visible on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure that, God forbid, in case of any extremic uh, fire or anything like that, they know where to look for you. So okay. is, there, is there some kind of a sign I'm supposed to put up at the road? You have to identify wherever. It's easy to locate your property. So well, Lane 10 No, I know, Lane marked. 10. And then I do have a 128 sign. I know you do. I leg. saw it. But that, that should be it. But it closest to you where you can, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's for your own safety. That's sure. all. So you have all of this now. Any more questions? Uh, just one question. Sure. Uh, well, just it's more of a clarification. So, because I, I thought you said there there isn't any existing garage. Correct. There Correct. is no existing garage. Okay, because it says uh, based on its proximity to the existing garage. That, that's. I think that should have said existing driveway. Mm -hmm. because my driveway uh, terminates it, it, right in front and of and now the you understand why I was going in the direction I was going sure okay okay I do so. too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so I'll have Jean correct the memo yeah. sign it I'll and put a copy in the file and, and give one to Mr. Pelletier plan is Pelletier. incorrect too then good pick up yeah. <laughs> all right any more questions comments about it. All right, hearing none. All right, let me see. 
like me to make a determination? I'll make a motion. Okay, you make a motion. Uh, <clears throat> regarding the uh, request for a determination from uh, Daniel Pellissier and Robin Pellissier for construction of a freestanding garage on their property located at 128 Lane 10, 351 New Boston Road, um, and a plan dated May 30th, 2018, prepared by WSP USA Incorporated. Uh, I do not see that there's anything about this project that would uh, increase uh, any nonconformities uh, on the property or uh, detract from the neighborhood in any way, shape, or form, and would recommend that uh, Mr. Pelesier be able to proceed with the job upon uh, completion of all permits with all other town boards and town authorities. Very good. All right. May I have a second? I second. Thank you. Any discussion? Any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Five zero in favor. Can Thank you. Ahead. Just make sure you got all your permits lined up and all your ducks in a row. Was there something I was supposed to initial to? Thought I heard that. Uh, no, that was okay. No, yeah, because there was a misstatement in the. Uh, thing. It's okay. And I'll email you uh, Jean's Yeah, and I'd like one for. Yes. Okay, thank you. If I put my John Hancock on anything, I want it to be. For notification to the abutters, is there a form that I get that indicates all of the pertinent information that I include? Uh, and no, uh, they, it, a lot of times we get an abutters, but uh, for a public hearing, if you have to go for anything for a public hearing, then the abutters within 300 feet over there have to be notified and it's done by certified mail and you have to pay for posting. They still have to pay for the posting of the public hearing and everything. That hasn't changed over the years, has That's it? That's right. And then you have to send out the notices to the abutters then. But this is not a public hearing. This is just a request for determination. So if they so you're okay. that it did increase the number of then you would ask that you would have a Okay, you're very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Lots Have a nice day. You too, sir. Oh, wow. Hey, going yeah. good. Going good. All right. Uh, old business. Anything under old business? New business? <coughs> yeah, let me bring up one thing. Under we old do and have new. A, um, this is kind of old and new. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's related to the gentleman that just left. He's putting up a structure that is going to be uh, within the setback, the legal setback of 15 feet, right, the side setback. And it's not the same side setback that he's already violating under the old laws. I mean, he had an eight-foot setback prior. Now he's got nine feet on this, yeah. but this is kind of like a brand-new yeah. setback. Now, in this case, they both, the, where the setback is small, they both come up against the same piece of property. Mm -hmm. So we violated that property way back. Right. And so this one really isn't a new nonconformity. No, it's not actually. No. And if this was a separate piece of property where he was building his garage adjacent to a second piece of property, then what would he be increasing the nonconformity because now he's approaching uh, not the same one that we've already approved, but a different piece of property. You mean, and he owns it? No, someone else owns it. Oh, well, that, that's a different situation, and that would be, it's up to the neighbor then. If he's encroaching on the neighbor, that's their battle. We can't get into that. 
but if he's no, maybe I'm not getting across. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, he, he's not conforming on a on a second piece of property. He's not conforming on, but he doesn't own the property. Right, but still he's within the setbacks. So, but, we're, we're, but he's still on somebody else's property. But it's detrimental to two people now instead of one. So it's up to him or the other party to bring him into court. But we, how can we approve that? Well, would we approve we it? Would, we, we wouldn't be able to, and hopefully the other departments <coughs> responsible for that would pick up on it as well. Oh, right, and the body would be notified and they could contest well, it, correct? It wouldn't, it wouldn't well, get here to begin with. It would, no, it, it shouldn't come here to begin with. Yeah. Exactly. We wouldn't see it. That would be something he would have to go in and speak, you know, go into planning to start first, and they should pick right up on that and say, wait a second, you can't get any permit for that. You're in violation, or, right? You could. You can't encroach on another person's property. No oh, more we, than we just, you already are. Well, you couldn't encroach on it to, on anybody else's property if you don't own that property. But it's not really a question of whether or not confused. this guy owns it. No. So I it's, think, may I try? Yes. So <clears throat> I understand what you're saying with his house abutting one neighbor's property, his proposed garage abutting and, and another's, correct? But his lot is one continuous lot, and the laws apply to the lot as a whole his lot as a that's whole. All, that's what I'm saying. That's and independent. Not, and not the individual butters. So his house, so for lot size and coverage, his, he's fine. He has a lot of land. So that's not conform, that's conforming. So the nonconformity in this situation is the his house is within the setback. And because that's eight feet, and his garage is proposed at nine feet, so it's less non-conforming than yes. what's already there. And whoever lives on the other side of the line, if they felt like the decision was not okay, they could bring him us to court and appeal that, Well, that, as I understand. Well, that's what I was saying. That would be the fair, and we would not get into that. That's not our, that's what I'm saying. That would Did not that be Did that answer our, your question, Tom? Uh, yeah, pretty close, yes. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It would not be our thing. But we don't know whether this was non-conforming before there were any zoning bylaws. We didn't have zoning bylaws until 1965. So if that was pre-existing before that, okay, you see what I'm getting at? That would have nothing to do with it. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's where we're at. <laughs> Do we have anything else on the agenda for this evening? No, that was just Wait. a question. So uh, now, uh, may I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? And the time noted is approximately 7.20. So moved. All right. Second? A second. Okay. All in favor? Good night.